What's up guys, it's Drak, and today's video is kind of quick. I wanted to take another look at the Game Face Prime, in particular because they emailed me to tell me that it was on sale. So right now the Game Face Prime is just about the same price as an Nexus Pro, it's maybe like $6 more. You can find links to that in the description box down below. But when they told me that it was on sale, I started thinking to myself, I was like, man, why do we never make any parts for the, the Game Face Prime? And a lot of it was that there were already people making different options and accoutrement out there for it. But uh, I didn't see quite all of the things that I was looking for. There were a few different versions, but some of them were either not quite low profile enough or not quite as, as sharp as I wanted them to be. So I went ahead and I designed a kit uh, for the Game Face Prime that really makes it kind of perform uh, similarly uh, to how like our, our, at this point, very tried and true Nexus three pack goes. So I knew that I wanted a hex grip. I knew that I wanted to mess with some of the mag adapters. I knew that I wanted to mess with the foregrip. Uh, I, it already has the zero barrel integrated into it. And the thing that I really, really wanted for it is I wanted some sort of like sharp sight. So there's a lot of things to like about the uh, the Game Face Prime. I like its AR-15 kind of stylings in terms of its compatibility with accessories. One thing that, Jinx, did you just let yourself in here? You weren't getting enough attention, huh? You wanted to show YouTube your new haircut, is that it? All right, so uh, one of the things that I didn't like about the stock uh, was that the stock was pretty easy to collapse with how it worked. It was a little, uh, a little, a little soft here. So we went ahead and we took some of our hardware, our metric hardware, and we've designed this very low profile shim so you can keep that matching color profile, but now it doesn't go anywhere. It's pretty tough. Uh, I've got mine set to like max. This is like literally, it's almost like a stock block, but if you have quite the wingspan, it's much, much nicer. Then we designed some low profile sights for it. These are actually printed in azure blue uh, for the purposes of this video. I don't know how we're going to you know, package them or what have you. I don't know what the options are going to be when we get them up on the website, but uh, the azure blue wasn't bad. It matched the blue uh, Game Face Prime. We need to find a good match for the red. And then we, we launched these on the site a while ago, but we haven't really talked about them. This is our, our VFG and our vertical foregrips come in a number of different kind of bottoms uh, at different sizes, as well as different tops with different stops and hand guards. And this one was just a good combination for the Prime. If you take a look at it there, uh, I think that it matches nicely. It actually doesn't fit into the pick tinny. Uh, in this case, it actually sits on either side of the uh, the priming bars and kind of captures, which is sort of an ironic throwback to how the, uh, the original grip worked on the Nexus Pro. It's just sort of funky, sort of fresh. And then of course we had to develop a hex grip, but we wanted to get this concavity right. The hex grip is just really sharp. This one's printed in our totally not Beskar gray. It's like our gunmetal gray over on the site. And that gives this a much different ergonomic profile than the original bits. For point of order, the original bits weren't terrible, uh, but that's what that looked like. And then this one was a little, uh, a little shy uh, in terms of my liking. I can't find the actual adapter, but I do have a Talon mag right here so I could load up some of these uh, these darts. These darts are uh, similar to the ones coming out of Singapore. I'm not sure if they're my favorite darts on the market, but we'll put a few through. Uh, and then of course we have a Nexus spring that we sell over at Foam Pro Shop, so I went ahead and put that in as well. Uh, I do like the magazine release on the Prime. I like it a lot. I wish it was a little bit better of a, a gravity drop, um, but I think that this, uh, this ambidextrous one over here is pretty solid. And then priming forward, not bad. Not bad, new spring. So I think that we gotta take it outside and put it over the chronograph, but I wanted to talk about how it was on sale. Maybe give it a second look. The built-in zero barrel is definitely value. Uh, I think that that's pretty cool. Um, the breech system is pretty standard at this point. If you knock the rings off of the takedown system, you don't even have to really fool with the takedown system. Those pins have good tolerances and will hold it in place. And now that it's like, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna be at this price, but now that it's just over 50 United States dollars, I think that it's actually quite uh, the solid pickup. I think that it's got a lot going for it. And if you, uh, if you wanna pour a little bit more money into it, I think that you could get this overall kind of aesthetic going on and this ergonomics and then this feature. And I think that you wind up with a primary that's actually like really, really sharp and definitely ready for, uh, for wars to start coming back again, which uh, hopefully is, is happening across the country as people are you know safely uh, getting, getting back into the swing of things. So let's take it outside, let's put it over the chronograph, let's see what kind of numbers the, uh, the spring gets in the regular breach with their darts.
like I said, I feel like I should put a few uh, over the chronograph. Jinx is over here trying to hunt chipmunks. I guess those instincts have finally kicked in, eh? Uh, I think there's one chambered. 133. 127. So I was losing about 20 FPS with my Nexus upgrade spring that we sell over on the website. I was super confused by that because it makes the Nexus obviously about that margin better. And then I looked at it next to the spring and while they have relatively similar OD ID profiles and uh, obviously the upgrade spring is a much thicker uh, gauge of wire, I'm missing like a full inch and a half off of there. So I'm gonna swap it back and just make sure that everything is, is nominally good. Uh, but it does point out that uh, if if you want, you could downgrade your uh, your Game Face Prime or I suppose your CETA derivative blaster using our spring. I'm kind of amazed that it was functional and catching that way given, uh, given that that's how it works. Also, it's just super funky. Whenever you want to change the internals for this, you have to like literally warp the shell to pop it in and out. I don't know if that was intentional or if that was just where the tolerances wound up, but uh, it's the first time in a while that I've taken one of these down in the field. Once you've once you've done all that, it's actually pretty easy to, to line everything up and get it back together. I just have to, there we are. And it's important to remember the, uh, the Wii pin goes in the back, like so. And then the, uh, the longer pin goes in the front. But use the beveled end to get it in there. There's that. Now we have to connect our bolt arms to our bolt sled again, which is interesting. They're kind of tapped into the bolt arms and then they just sort of sit in the bolt sled. The bolt sled itself is not tapped because it's hard to tap plastic like that, I suppose, but almost there. And that was a pretty quick uh, takedown. All right, so with the original spring back in, performance should be relatively unchanged. There's a 127, a 138, 141, 135. Honestly, we should probably make a spacer for the Nexus uh, spring and see how that goes, but that'll be a project for another day. Ultimately, with the ergonomics tuned up, uh, the stock set, and I actually really do like these, uh, these optics here. I think that uh, our on-field performance is, uh, is significantly improved. Um, Overall, I think that it's a solid pickup. I thought that it was a pretty interesting pickup and it was cool to see another company doing something domestically in this space. Uh, that said, I, uh, I'm a big, big fan of our adaptations to the platform and I think that the sale makes it that much easier to build out something pretty spicy, pretty cool like this. So that's just my take on the Game Face Prime. Again, like I said, there's tons of files out there for free on Thingiverse. There's a lot of people tweaking theirs up. I know that one guy in particular has done something to a uh, to shim up some of the play in the upper and the lower. And I think that that's a, uh, a very interesting, much needed um, adaptation. But a lot of these later models, as opposed to the earlier models, really aren't that bad in that regard. They're, they're tighter, uh, I guess, by design um, than the original ones. But uh, overall, I think that particularly, and that was all with, um, with the jet darts. I think that with, uh, with some, some pro-level darts, and uh, a few different little tweaks and tricks. I think that this could be a very, very solid contender. And like I said, they're on sale right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but they're only 56 bucks in both the red and the blue variant. Definitely something worth exploring. Uh, I did a giveaway of one of these over on my Twitch. Maybe I'll do another one in the future, but you'll never know unless you follow me over at twitch.tv backslash vampire drag and check out a, uh, a coming up stream. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for supporting the shop, picking up parts and components for your different builds. Uh, don't forget to check out, we've got a brand new Drac logo over at foamproshop.com if you're looking to pick up merch. Uh, you'll never know if I'm doing another giveaway of one of these things unless you're over on my Twitch. That's twitch.tv backslash vampire Drac. Definitely check us out there. I'm actually streaming tonight at, uh, at about like 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what I'm playing yet, but maybe you guys can help me decide in the comment section down below. Much love, blast on, Drac out.